Hello and welcome to the video and this one's about my FTX Outback High Rock. When I first pulled it out of the box I noticed that the LEDs at the front were incorrect and if you look at the photo you can see that on the left hand side it has a red LED and on the right hand side it has an orange one. So the first thing I did was to pull those out and replace them with white ones. The next job was to fit the FTX LED light unit into the light bar. Now these are nice and cheap and very easy to fit. And if you look at the back of the light bar, you can see it has a plate that you can pull off. And then you insert the light unit into the light bar and pop the plate back on. Now the wires on it are red and black, so I coloured the red wire with a black sharpie so it blends in. When I first plugged in the light bar, I couldn't get it to turn on with a transmitter. But after trying various different combinations, this is a photo of the one that worked and I've labelled all the wires and where you should plug them in. But please note, you do have to add a Y lead for the lights to turn on and off via the transmitter. So with the lights sorted out, it was time to take it for a run. And as you can see here, they look great. However, there is another thing that it needed and that's a driver. So to do that, I copied an idea that I saw Mark Bryan do on one of his videos and the link to that is in the description box below. So I bought this generic interior to use and also this Tamiya driver. The first thing I did was cut the interior in half and then I just held it inside to make sure that it fit okay. The next thing to do was to paint the driver. Once he was painted, I hot glued him into the interior and I also made a plastic dash and fitted the steering wheel to that. Once this was done, I fixed it into the cab using hot glue. And here he is. One other thing that the High Rock was crying out for was inner fenders. So to make these, I used a tub from this ready mill. And I started by marking out where the shock absorbers and the fixing points to the chassis would be. And then cut them out. When that was done, I screwed them to the chassis and trimmed them off where needed. Then I popped the body on just to make sure that everything fitted okay. So once I was happy with the front fenders, I cut out some rear ones. And now it was time to try the body again to see if everything sat correctly. Once I was happy with that, it was time to paint. When the paint was dry, I screwed them back to the chassis and although not a perfect fit, I think you'll agree that it looks much better like this than it does like this. And they will also help keep dirt out of the chassis. As far as I know, there aren't any official inner fenders for the High Rock. So if you do try this, I hope you find the video helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. 